What's up guys, Snatters Gaming here with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to maximize performance in Counter Strike Global Offensive if you are on a low end PC. So let's go ahead and get into this. So first thing you guys gonna do is optimizing your Windows 10 for gaming. So just go ahead and follow on my steps. You guys gonna go to File Explorer, go to this PC, go to right click and press properties. After you guys press properties, go to advanced settings, go to settings, and then you guys gonna go to it should be right here, just go to adjust for best performance, apply that and okay. And you guys should notice a big difference in performance. So after this step, you guys gonna go to what right here again, go to settings. After you guys are right here, you're gonna go to um, privacy. Just copy all the steps, right? All the settings. Just disable these. Disable the. Disable camera. Enable microphone, of course. You guys will need it. Notifications. Disable it. Disable speaking and can typing. Disable account info. Disable contacts. Disable calendar. Disable call history. Disable email. Disable tasks, disable messaging, radios, disable it, also, uh, feedback and uh, diagnostics, you just leave it at basic and, dis and, dis and disable this one. Background apps, just disable them, you do not need any of these. And just leave this one on. So, second step is making your power mode on high settings so especially if you're on a laptop usually when your laptop comes it's on planet mode or power saver mode so how to make it high performance you guys gonna go down right here go to power options you need to right click on the battery um, picture so after you guys are you should be like unbalanced or power savers just make it on high performance so yeah that should be like give you a lot more um, performance so the second st third step is changing your uh, picture on desktop for such as the solid color. So usually this gives you like two to three FPS, but it really helps, guys. I tried it. It doesn't. It didn't really um, uh, increase my FPS, but it helped me uh, not get frame drops. I was really just shocked of how this worked. So yeah. So the fourth step or third, I'm not really sure. You guys gonna search for run you guys gonna uh, press uh, windows and then R so the windows key and R in the same time then you gotta go to B R E F E T C H you guys can copy that from the description below you guys can delete all of these files right here there's just like um, temporary files and just empty recycle bit up Take a thing, go to one again and write temp. You guys should find like a little bit of files so you just delete them. And that's it for this one. For a second, th uh, fifth step, you guys gonna go to MS config. You guys gonna write MS config right here. You guys can find system configurations, just right click and run as the admin administrator. You guys should find um, this. This step right here is just gonna go to boot, go to fast options, and go to number process, make it um, four. After this, you guys you can apply. Now go to services, this hide all Microsoft services, and enable disable all of these. Uh, you guys can keep uh, the Windows, I mean the Steam on open because you guys need it. Then apply the settings and press OK. You guys need to restart, but I cannot restart since I'm recording. Just is gonna exit without restart. So the next step you're gonna do is just the launch options and the Steam overlay. So usually the launch options is one really important thing to do in Counter Strike. So launch options give you like a ton of things to do for the game. So there's two things you guys need to edit in these. So the only thing you guys need to edit. I mean the only two things is FPS max 
if you guys have a really low end PC just change it to like 60 120 FPS but I just leave it at 999 to get the max FPS but a little bit frame drops so threads it's literally just the number of cores your computer has how to know that go test manager then go to uh, details I mean performance guess can I find a number of cores right here after you guys find the number of cores is 4 so minus fully minus 4 just so right 4 and the launch options but then press ok after you guys done editing that so the, the next step you guys can disable both of these right here they usually take about 2 fps but if you need the steam overlay really bad just let it right there so there's another step guys that really 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 takes a lot of fps but that I know just by myself so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so you guys can right click on go down press on this simple then go to right click on steam logo then go to setting then go to end game friends you guys gonna copy all of these settings right here how do you guys copy this go to family just keep on going in game just keep on copying my interface disable everything in here And that's it. That gave me about 25 more FPS and made my frame drops go low. So the next step, guys, is the in-game video settings. So, um, so usually, yes, if you have a really, really low-end computer, change change your video settings to uh, the lowest. You guys can change it to the lowest settings, like low, very low, and that kind of stuff. And if you're still getting really slow, uh, low frame rate, just um, lower your resolution. If you have still frame drops, go to like uh, 1020p, 24 by uh, 768. That should give you like 50 more FPS at least. And yeah, guys. So that's it, guys, for the video. Please subscribe if this helped you. Helped you guys. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your fans so now just gaming here guys peace out